Before we start, make sure to weigh your suppressor. This will give you a starting weight to compare to later on when we have finished thoroughly cleaning the suppressor. The goal is to get as close to manufacturing weight as you can. This will indicate how well you have cleaned out the buildup. Now we can start the process outlined on your suppressor sauce bottles. To start, add one packet of suppressor sauce powder to your bottle. Add water to the lower fill line. For part A, you should also add the activator, then stir slowly. You will then need to add water up to the upper fill line. Make sure to stir the water and powder mixture thoroughly. Add your suppressor to the soak bottle. Look to your soak bottle for your next instructions. Make sure you have added your suppressor to the soak bottle before adding our suppressor sauce mixture. Pour the suppressor sauce mixture into the soak bottle. Allow the suppressor to soak for two to three hours. When the two to three hours is up, remove the suppressor using the wire extraction tool, rinse and wipe dry. You can use a wire brush for extra cleaning if needed. Remember to rinse bottles between cycles. For part B, refer to your bottle instructions and repeat the process again. Though both parts of suppressor sauce are safe to use without gloves, part B removes all the heavy metals built up in your suppressor so wearing gloves is recommended during this process. For suppressors that have been heavily used and require more cleaning, you can repeat this entire process as many times as needed. Please make sure you dispose of the dirty suppressor sauce in accordance with local disposal regulations. Now you can weigh your suppressor again. If the final weight of your suppressor is close to the original manufacturing weight, your suppressor should be thoroughly cleaned. 